Oh man. So Timler finally got here. It's uh it's gonna get 96 today, so I think today's the last of the hot days for us. At least we'll get back in the 80s next week. Which is a warm welcome. Hmm. Ah, had some bullseye flight. Church warden. Hmm. Got my Pikes and Cigars magazine in. Definitely need to get me some new tobaccos. I've seen a couple of them on YouTube I'm interested in trying. I saw a vanilla custard that looked pretty good. And Saw a couple of blends I thought about trying, but they got a lot of key in it, and I can't, I can't. A lot of key in it smells like anything with a lot of key in it smells like burnt rubber to me, Brad. I just can't deal. I got like a bulking blend when I first started smoking. And I smoked it, and man, my wife complained for a week. <laughs> Like, what is that burnt rubber smell? <laughs> drove her nuts. Which drove me nuts. Captain Black. I thought I read that Captain Black original was the uh, almost the same mix as 1Q. Smoked a good bit of uh, Lane Limited, that's for sure. Black Raspberry is pretty good. The BCA is pretty good. Hazelnut's pretty good. Cascadia. Is it Cascadia or Cascadia? Hmm. Campsite, trailhead, open water. Gotta get some of those a go. I had Trout Stream by Scotty's Blend. That's pretty good. I had their Stonewall. I had Salmon River. Daughters and Ryan. Never tried that blend. Never tried any of those. Maybe if somebody's bored, <laughs> they could send me a, a sample. Uh -huh. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm four. I've never tried that. Never tried plum pudding as much as I've heard about it. And see all the cigars. Sutliff. I've had a good bit of Sutliff tobacco. Missouri Merchant. I've, I've tried some of their tobacco. I wasn't too crazy about it, but it's just as my personal taste, I guess. Everybody likes them. Super value. I've had some of those. The cherry Cavendish is pretty good. And Casey Jones blend. I've never, I've never had any of those. Smooth, aromatic. I'd like to give those a try if I could find them local, but that ain't gonna happen. Peterson early morning pipe. I heard a lot of stuff about that, but book room ref. I got the bourbon whiskey book room ref. It's pretty good. Ooh, the trade liqueur sounds pretty good. Peter Stokerby. Peter Stokerby. Stoker, 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 uh, Stokerby. Tell you what, I love their tobacco. I've had their cherry. Uh, their, um, that's what I'm smoking right now, the Bullseye Flake. Bullseye Flake, three, Luxury Bullseye Flake. Luxury Twist Flake is pretty good too. It's a little bit, got, I think it tastes got a little more earthier taste to it. They got a natural. I've never tried the natural. The natural burly black cabbage Virginia's are uh, melted with a subtle, tasty, uh, spirit based top flavor. Ooh. I'm getting some of that. Mm, Hearth and Home, they make good tobacco. Buffalo Trace cigars, man. I've been wanting to try one of those. I can't find them. I don't want to drop all the way downtown Baton Rouge for a cigar, so. Lane's Classic. Lane's Classic Velvet, Granger, and Paladin. Smoker's pride, huh? I don't know about that. Oh well, that was fun. Getting ready for a fishing trip next week. Um, gonna leave Sunday. Drive up to um, Colorado Springs, a 17 hour drive. Go up there and uh, we're gonna fish probably Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and come back home Friday.
Tasty. Tasty. Tasty backy. I like these church wardens because you don't burn your tongue. Use the breathing technique with a church warden. You, you, it's really hard to burn your tongue unless you over over smoke it. I'm hearing a rooster screaming in the background. Anyway, oh, the neighbors has got their dog pack out. That's when all the barking is going to start for about 30 minutes. All right, well, that's it for me. I'm out. Y'all have a good one. Happy piping.